Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Here I've got a big snake. Don't be immature. Let's keep this professional. Absolute staple of the UK still water scene, especially this time of year. These just work actually all year round, summer, winter, autumn, whatever. This is done the cat whisker style. Pretty self-explanatory. Lots of movement, very mobile, bit of flash. Gets a pull. Let's get stuck right into it. So as I said folks, this is a big snake, so these are size 8 hooks with a wide eye. So obviously we want to be able to connect them together. Just get a couple of wraps of thread down using white uni AO at this point. Run it down towards just past the point, probably where a barb would be on a barbed hook. Taking away the excess folks, we're then going to come in with, this is a barred white and chartreuse rabbit zonker strip. Cut the back end into a little bit of a pointed triangle and just creating a little gap. As you can see, I'm catching this quite far in towards the back. You don't want to be getting lots of little tugs and pulls by having too much over the back. So have your stinger hook close to the back of the zonker strip. Just catching this in now, couple of wraps in front and in behind, just do your best not to catch in too much of the fur at this stage. And once you've caught that in folks, nice and tight, and it's locked in, you can then run your thread forward up towards the eye of the hook. And then at this stage, folks, we repeat the process, create a nice gap, don't catch too much of the fur, and lock this in against the shank of the hook with turns over the zonker strip and in front of it. Again, sometimes moistening the zonker strip will help with this process. And once you've locked this in folks, you can look to come in and whip finish your thread off. We're, uh, we're done with the back end hook at this point. Just get this nice and locked away, a couple of turns. If possible folks, then invert your vise and what you're going to do is apply some varnish or super glue to the whip finish that you've just done and then the turns along the underside of the shank. Do your best not to touch too much if any of the rabbit fur, you don't want that getting all hard and firm and sticky. And then give that a bit of time to dry. Then you're going to need something to connect your two hooks together. I'm using some backing here, some 20 pound backing and little tip for getting it through the eye is get some soft wax, you can get that from Vineyards, and apply it to the end that you're passing through. Bring it through and then what you're going to look to do is create a knot that you have confidence in that will hold. You'll see me at this stage actually just throwing in a double Davy knot. I feel that it works totally fine and I also apply a little bit of super glue to the knot just to make sure everything holds in place. And then at this point, folks, you can flip your vise back over, make sure you're happy with how everything's looking and how everything's sitting. I'm pretty happy with this, so I think we can rock and roll and move on. Okay, folks, at this stage, you're going to start working with the front part of the snake. So same hook in the front and added an orange, hot orange, 3.2 brass millimeter bead to the front of this, this will help the fly get down, granted you'll probably be fishing this on some sort of sinking or hover line which will assist but a little bit of weight at the front won't harm and will help with the movement of the fly. 
Just running the thread down again at this stage and then going to take away the excess. So at this point folks, starting to put everything together, just measuring up roughly how big I want this and this was a fair size snake. So just lining everything up and making sure I'm happy with where everything's sitting before I start to attach the um, the backing element that will hold everything together. Once you're happy with what you've got folks, you want to get this backing nice and firmly attached to the front hook. So lots of tight wraps, good touch and turn all the way down. Keep this on top because it will impact how the fly fishes. So yeah, keep it on the top. It can be a little bit fiddly at this point, but just make do. Would suggest winding this all the way to the front, keep it on top, folding it back, and then definitely apply some varnish or super glue with wraps over the top of it. That way the front of the fly will certainly be bomb proof and there's no chance of it pulling out, something will have to snap. Okay folks, really important at this point, making sure all the pressure on the back stinger hook is through the backing and not through the zonker strip, otherwise the zonker strip may well snap. So I'm making sure that all the strain is on it by pulling it tight and then creating a little bit of give so there's more zonker strip than backing in length, hopefully that makes sense. And then again, repeating the process that we did previously, catching this in, creating a space, wraps in front and over the back. Okay folks, at this point, once you've got the zonker strip and the backing attached to the front hook, just gonna add in a thin application of UV white glister, just to tidy up that attachment of the backing, keeping everything nice and tidy, and also adds to the fly. So yeah, get yourself some of this. If you don't have this, you can certainly use an orange or something similar that's in keeping with the cat whisker coloring mode. And once you get to the front folks, just cut away anything that you don't need, tidy this up, take it away, make sure it's nice and tidy. And then what you're gonna look to do is grab yourself some flash because no snake is complete without some flash. So I've got some orange and chartreuse flash. Just grab whatever you've got, it'll work and it'll work well. You want this fairly long, so catch a couple of strands on one side. And then what I'm going to look to do, as you can probably expect, is fold this over and take it down the other side as well, catching this in.
And once you've caught your flashing folks, you can bring the zonker forward. Again, creating a space, you're gonna catch it in behind the bead, nice and tight, get some solid wraps down. And once you've caught this in folks, nice sharp pair of scissors and chop this away fairly close to the front but leave enough so that you can tie this down nice and firmly, you don't want this slipping away at all. Keep it nice and clean, chop away the corners if you want, it will make a cleaner finish when you go to tie this in. Okay folks, once you've got that tied in, I'm going to come back in with a little bit of the white UV glister again, just to tidy up this front section, it doesn't need to be over the top. What we are going to do though is comb some of this out after the fact, once the fly is done. So leave yourself a little bump, because it will certainly add to the fly. Get some wraps down at this point, and then what you're going to do once you've cut away the excess is come in with some varnish or super glue onto the thread, get some turns down and then thereafter what you're going to do is whip finish over the top of that, cut away your thread and that's the fly done folks, that will be you sorted. So we've got to the end. Well folks, there you have it, the cat's whisker snake, very productive pattern, most of the year round. Chuck it on an intermediate or a sinking line, give it a good pull, you'll get a response from brown rainbows, tigers, blues, they all like these. Until next time, hit the bell, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, be great to hear from you. Take it easy, cheers.